Hi and welcome to this video. Um, it's a little different. Uh, I'm glad that a few people have actually took the time to listen to my uh, talk on Japanese wrestling, but if you don't listen to this one, my feelings won't be hurt. This is just for the hell of it. Um, I'm going to post a link in the uh, description uh, to my uh, Fire Pro save that is based on this concept. Um, which, you know, I'll get into that in a minute, but I also want to point out, I do not, uh, subscribe to this philosophy. I am not a ho I am not a hollow earther. I do not believe in this. I just thought it would be an interesting video. People that I show, um, the Cinder at Earth Pro Wrestling save to, and I've done, I think, four of them, uh, just seem confused by the concept. I mean, the ones that get it love it, but the other ones, the other people are just like, what the fuck is this? Uh, so, I'm going to talk about Hollow Earth Theory. I'm going to talk about uh, my whole thing. Now, if you've downloaded the save, or at least check out the fucking preview, I mean, there's no harm in that. You'll see um, a mixture of folklore and um, legend and uh, historical figures. I mean, like, and movie, uh, video game, <laughs> and comic book. I mean, I just put anybody I fucking felt like putting into it. And it's just this crazy little wild save. I mean, it's got, you know, Lord Xenu in it. It's got, like, a uh, god, you know, if you believe in the whole, um, um, what's his name? Uh, oh, shit. My brain, my brain's dying. But, um,. Abraham, if you believe in any of the Abraham religions, they're like if you're a Muslim, a Christian, or a Jew, I got like, you know, God from that. I got Jesus and Buddha as being a tag team, the Holy Rollers, you know, it's just for fun. It's not meant to be offensive or anything like that. And there's also, if you're a Mr. Science Theater fan, there's a ton of Mr. Science Theater guys. I got like uh, the Prince of Space, I got Torgo, I got Zach Rouse, that were. Um, Master and my interpretation of Manos. I know Manos has never been seen, but I just actually with Manos, I was trying to make the dog for Manos, and it just turned out so horrible. But you know, it looked really demonic and really cool, so I thought, well, fuck, we we'll just call that Manos. Um, <laughs> but um, let me, uh, you know, check the save out if you like Fire Pro, and if you need a PSN version, I can get that to you. Now, if you need a PSV version uh, you might be shit out of luck um because there's only one guy I know that does that and I hate to bother him um but anyway check it out you know I got the guy from Dig Dug I got the Toxic Avenger I got uh fucking Sheldon from Big Bang Theory um who turns into the Incredible Hulk kind of thing I mean you name it I got it uh I got Maximilian Robespierre you know the guy from the French Revolution I put his brain into a robot <laughs> And I got all kinds of maps and shit to go with it, you know, if you're on the Facebook uh, group. Yeah, I put a lot of time and effort into it, but enough plugging that. I, that's just me explaining uh, why I'm bothering with this um, whole concept. Um, or, or doing this video to tell you about it. But Hollow Earth Fury, now the first time that I heard about Hollow Earth Fury, now they used to be um, a TV show. But it was on every night on American One. Well, not every night, but every sun Saturday on American One. That's after HWA Wrestling. It was out there TV, and it was just really conspiracy theories. And they would usually have a guest on, you know. And these guys were actually published authors. These weren't guys that were like xeroxing um, pages and putting them in a binder. These were guys that I had actual book deals, believe it or not. Um, but the guy that was talking about it, and he was talking about trying to, and his whole thing was trying to figure out where Atlantis was and he thought that Atlantis was inside the earth and that's the first time that I really um, heard anything about that and then you know years go by and I'm just sitting there and I'm bored one night and, uh, and I, I saw some uh, Jackie Chan was on Saturday Night Live believe it or not and he was they were doing this skit and the whole gimmick was in the center of the earth so that just got stuck in my head in the center of the earth you know and um and I'm just sitting there and I'm thinking and you know I've been working on fire pro saves for a, long, a while then and then I just thought you know guys had done 
Fire Pro save set on the moon, and they've done alternate dimensions, and they've done all this like cool stuff, like you know the four skulls uh, effect, uh, kind of stuff, and it just hit me. Center of the Earth Pro Wrestling. But you know my whole, what did I know about Center of the Earth Pro Wrestling? You know I know the H. G. Wells book, which I've never read. I've only seen the movie. Um, but most people don't even get that right. Um, when you think about the uh, center of the Earth, most people actually think about at the Earth's core starring Doug McClure and Peter Cushing, uh, which is not, it's loosely based on H.G. Wells. Now, H.G. Wells' book is not about Hollow Earth at all. It, it, I mean, there's elements of Hollow Earth in there, and, you know, there's like little pockets of like jungles and weird stuff, and there's the inner sea, and there's monsters, real animals, and stuff like that. For, but for the most part, it's not Hollow Earth. Um, they do go to the core, I think. But anyway. Now, Hollow Earth Theory is very different. Uh, let me take in a deep breath there. Hollow Earth Theory um, actually goes back a long time. And it's got different versions of it. Um, now, it goes back to mythology. You can find elements of it in Judaism and Christianity and uh, Buddhism uh, and Islam, believe it or not. You know, kind of hit and miss, you know, like, like they talk about it, one translation of um, Cain and Abel, after, uh, uh, was it Abel that killed Cain, I think, yes, I don't, it's been a while since I uh, looked up my Bible, but anyway, um, when God put the mark on him, instead of killing, it was Abel, yeah, Abel killed Cain, okay, instead of just killing um, Abel, he uh, banished him, and he put that mark on his head uh, for two reasons, for everyone to know that he had slain his brother and that was like the first murder ever or something I'm corrected on that I'm sure um, I'm not too much up on my biblical history um, more than the average person but that's not saying much um, but you know, supposedly he went into a new land the land of giants you know, and these were like a, a different race of giants these were not like um, the giants from uh, you know like Noah's Ark these were like a different race altogether. So then, if you read like, not the King James version, mind you, but if you look, you know, like you get like the stories from the Dead Sea Scrolls and stuff, and I'm just going off what other people wrote. You know, I can't read fucking ancient Hebrew sand text. I'm just assuming. I'm just going by what they tell me, um, or what I read. They haven't told me personally. <laughs> but, you know, there were other races supposedly um, on the Earth around the time that God made humans. I mean. You know, if you're atheist, if you're Christian or whatever, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just telling you, you know, the whole concept of myth or whatever. Um, but yeah, and um, I could I could spend time just talking about that, but at the risk of offending someone, I'll move on. <laughs> um, but you know, it's even found in you know traditional Abraham uh, religions. Uh, it's also found in uh, Buddhism and uh, Hinduism and the whole Shambhala thing. Shambhala is supposed to be inside the earth somewhere. Um, anybody that's ever watched uh, Full Metal Alchemist, you know, knows about that idea. Um, <laughs> it's a weird thing to take away from it. But uh, the Nazis actually were looking for um, remnants of the Aryan race. Now, if I'm going off my memory right, there actually was a Aryan race. I mean, they were like, it's kind of where like Europeans come from, is these people that used to be in Asia Minor, and they were like fair skin, and that's what um, the Nazis thought that they were. They thought they were descendants of the Aryan race, which really, you know, if I'm going off history, the actual Aryans, not the uh, make-believe Nazi ones, but the actual Aryans, you know, they, they kind of, you know, just went up, and they became like Europeans, more or less, you know, white people, um, where most of us come from. Um, but, uh, was over. And I do have a uh, Nazi character. Well, he was, he's not a Nazi now in the save. He's actually a very anti-Nazi. He uh, German suplexed, uh, oddly enough, imagine that, a Nazi doing the German suplex. But he actually turned babyface and turned on the Nazis. <laughs> Which I, I could just, I liked him too much. He couldn't be a heel. He couldn't be a heel. He is, he is too good of a wrestler. But <laughs> anyway... Um, now, 
when it comes to the actual Hollow Earth theory, um, most people think, or not most, most people that subscribe to the Hollow Earth theory, um, it's more of a spiritual thing, but it's also a tangible thing, which doesn't make any fucking sense. And they believe that inside the Earth, that's where heaven is, that's where hell is, that's where, you know, it's like a spirit world where everything is the opposite of what it is here, which doesn't make any sense. It's supposedly everything makes sense, but doesn't make sense. So I don't know, they, they confuse me. Five minutes of listening to them, and I'm fucking, what the fuck are you talking about? Um, and, and then you get in, um, but those people, um, there's another subgroup of those people that believe that it's just, you know, like it is here. But, you know, more advanced, kind of like an Atlantis kind of thing. And where they got the maps for the fucking place, I'll never know. Um, Artaga or whatever. And they have an inner sun. Wouldn't it fry everything up? <laughs> but, um, uh, Atoma would be the, uh, inner sun, I think. I, I forget. It seems like Tarzan, um, in later novels, not, uh, Fuck, I can't think of who actually wrote the Tarzan books. But not the guy that actually wrote Tarzan, but like someone, you know, got the rights to it and wrote more Tarzan books actually like set it in the uh center of kind of setting or hollow earth kind of setting. Um but you know, the whole spiritual concept, uh, it doesn't really appeal to me, you know, because I'm looking at it as science fiction. I'm looking at it as as entertainment or ideas for my uh, wrestling scene, and it's just, you know, it's not as fun, um, actual, you know, philosophy, <laughs> I want wild shit, I want crazy shit, I want entertaining shit, and that's where the aliens come in, um, supposedly, um, and this is where it gets really convoluted, because when you start dealing with the UFO people, with the alien people, I don't mean that they're aliens, although some of them are weird enough that they're aliens, but I'm talking about people that believe in aliens, you start running into some crazy ideas, a lot of uh, contradicting ideas, and it just gets kind of silly, but still entertaining. I mean, we're talking about uh, UFOs and um, underwater UFOs, which there's a name for that, I'm forgetting, and we go into the Bermuda Triangle, and then the Dragon's Triangle, and there's another triangle up in uh, Lake Michigan, and another one in uh, um, Alaska, and then you get to other people, and it's just, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, there's a lot of weird shit there. But, um, supposedly, you know, alien to us, there's, a, there's uh, humans that have either settled in outer space or come from outer space, implying that they evolved around the same time as us or came from us. I don't know how the fuck that works. Um, but they're very humanoid, you know. And uh, they possibly live in the center of the earth or they live in some and I don't know where they get these ideas you know oh it's during this star section of the galaxy you know? how the fuck would you know that <laughs> even if they told you you know even if they were an alien they might be lying to you you think of that but anyway um you get into the different races of aliens which I always think is funny um now you got the reptilians now there's many philosophy about reptilians and many different versions of reptilians. Um, you have, and that goes into soul matrices and all this crazy shit I don't believe, but I've actually read and know a lot about, sadly. But anyway, um, now you have, on one hand, you've got people say that reptilians are cold-blooded, they're evil, they don't want anything to do, you know, they're like feeding up humanity as cattle. You know, they're controlling people, they eat people, they're, you know, horrible, horrible people, they're monsters. And then you have the concept of the hybridiz uh, hybrids, who apparently, you know, work for the reptilian, the pure brother like reptilians, but they're not as bad, you know. And then you have people who say that reptilians are just, a lot of people don't even know that they're reptilian, apparently. It's kind of like that, uh, Roddy Piper movie, you know. <laughs> but, um, that John Carpenter Roddy Piper movie, A uh, Day or something. I forget, but anyway, um, but supposedly it is possible to not only have sex with a reptilian, but to have a child with a reptilian. I gotta think about that. And uh, supposedly, if you believe in the whole concept of theory even more, then uh, 
uh, you look into it and it's supposedly um, <laughs> uh, reptilians have changed their views. They, you know, there's like a there's a tangent of reptilians on Earth who want to protect Earth from the evil reptilians in the Draco sin uh, um, galaxy or solar system. <laughs> Uh, Dracos, Draconos, I don't know. I have four or five different versions of reptilians. On my name. And also there's a concept that reptilians are from another dimension. That has also been talked about. <laughs> uh, and of course the greys. When everyone thinks alien, you think the greys. You know, those big, bobble-headed, black-eyed motherfuckers. Um, now, if you believe the, the UFO people, you know, the greys, they have a... They have a base on the moon, of course, because everybody's got a base on the moon, obviously. You know. But they also have one somewhere underneath Area 51, but Area 51 doesn't know about it. Well, how the fuck do they know about it? <laughs> but they're, they supposedly, now, the Greys actually are lackeys for the reptilians. Because, you know, obviously the Greys are too fragile. They obviously couldn't be, uh, you know, the, the people with the ideas. Because the reptilians are supposedly some big galactic empire or some shit. Um, now, um, which you'll notice with UFO people, they attest um, beauty to good and evil. Now, when something's bad, it, they're horrible looking. They're reptilian, they're gray, they're monsters. When something's good, oh, they're pure like Andromedans or something like that. They're all, they're, they're Aryans, you know, they're white with blonde hair. Uh, you know, are are UFO people racist? I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that's what that's saying. Um, where was I? Oh yes, oh oh, and Mars has different versions. Uh, they have humanoids supposedly that are look like Filipinos. I'm not making that up. <laughs> then they have the Reds, which are like the Greys, but red and different. So they're like them, but not. <laughs> uh, really, you know, if you're on Mars, your alien really has to be red. That's just not fair, you know, uh, if he's not. But the blues, now, I don't remember what the blues are supposed to look like. I've seen a picture. I know my rendition of it has n is nothing. When I created him, I would just create weird people, and then I would just attach names to them. So the guy that's the blue on my... Um, Center of Earth Pro Wrestling save he's not actually what they suppose it looked like. I forget. But obviously they must be blue. Uh, then you have the... Um, I'm going to butcher this word. Fledian... Flad... Fled... Pled... Pled... Adrians... And Dromanins. Who are like... Um, long, blonde, haired, fair skin, humanoid aliens that are local... That, you know, that they must... Everybody mistakes for angels or some shit. Um, and then you start getting into the weirder stuff. You get like the Agarian people, which are like the actual, what well, apparently what the Nazis were looking for, the actual last remains of the Aryan race, you know, um, underneath the Gobi Desert of all places. I mean, it's the last place you look, really. Um, <laughs> then you have the Serpent people, which are some supposedly some kind of mutated version of reptilians. And they're long serpents. They look like dragons, supposedly. I don't know where do people get on this shit. I wonder. But I'm just going by what they said. Um, but uh, supposedly, um, they uh, they're like long dragon people. You know, like serpent people. But they like they're not monsters. Apparently, they have flaws in the communities and who in the fuck knows. Um, I didn't make one then because you cannot make a serpent in Fire Pro. Um, you cannot. I made a rendition of them, I made uh, dragons, I made dragon kin, you know, the dragon empire. Uh, there's no dragons in the Hollow Earth, period, really. But my savior is, so fuck it. I also have people made out of sewage, like they evolved from poop, so. Yeah, I got a lot of free time on my hands. Fuck, I've been talking for 19 minutes already. I'll try to get through this a little faster. Okay, I have some, oh, I'm at the end of my notes. I might make it, I might make another 25 if I shut up and get going. Then you have, and this goes back to that guy that I saw on Out There TV, which is no longer around if you're trying, I mean, you can go back on the Wayback Machine and check it out, I guess. But, um, anyway, um, now in, it's like these large, and I have them on my, uh, Fire Pearl save, but I, I, a little, uh, 
I'm not even trying to pronounce that. Uh, but they were giants. And supposedly Gilgamesh killed one. I don't know. The, was he Sumerian? Was he Babylonian? He's before Babylon. I, I don't fuck. Gilgamesh is way, way old. But, um, and then Kidu and stuff like that. But anyway, um, supposedly they're, they're like, the giants are like guardians of Atlantis. Atlantis is somewhere under the earth. Unless you believe the other people who say it's in the Bermuda Triangle, which why wouldn't it be, you know? Um, which, uh, I've already covered reptilians. Oh, the Antarctica. This is the last thing I'll talk about, and I'll shut up about this. The Antarctica entrance. Now, supposedly, there's a big hole in Antarctica. Now, this first idea first came up when they first when they first started releasing global maps from satellites. They would release them, and for some reason, and the Arctic and the Antarctic, they would use these big black spots, and they'd be like, "Well, there's nothing there." Well, no, that's just how the satellite mapped it. It couldn't really reach up there, and it had no reason to reach up there. There's nothing fucking there. Um. But still, that's where that theory come from. But there is Admiral Byrd, or Admiral somebody, who flew over the Antarctic. He actually found a spot. It's a volcanic lake in um, Antarctica. And it actually has trees and shit. That's like grass. It's this weird little place. It's not like the Savage Land from X-Men, if that's what you're fucking thinking. But um, it is like, it's this weird little, and I wouldn't call it oasis because it's volcanic water. You couldn't drink it. But it's this weird place that has, it doesn't really have any life. Aside from the trees, I mean, like, there's no animals or anything. But there's video clips of it. You can look it up. There's actually, like, this weird little volcanic lake uh, down there, uh, down in Antarctica. And it's, uh, it's got, like, shrubberies and trees and shit. So, uh, and a lot of people think that's what he was writing about because he did write about some kind of land that he saw flying over it uh, that shouldn't have been there. Uh, and of course, you know, there's other people that, you know, uh, believe that he went in there and he contacted aliens or the, uh, what have you. And that's where a lot of the Nazis went <laughs> instead of Argentina. Supposedly Hitler got away. Um, so I hope, you know, if you're into this shit, if you're into crazy conspiracy theories, I hope you like it. And it might make you want to download my save. Um, I mean... Not the rehash that, but I got uh, the cast from Red Dwarf. I got um, uh, Gimberling and Chains from Fat Guy Stuck in Internet. Uh, I could just go down the list. I got People Made Out of Poop. I got Frog People. I got Spider Women. I got Ant People who I use Brock Lesnar as my base for the Ant King. He's a badass. <laughs> Uh, I got again. I got Rails that where I got dwarfs like Tolkien esque kind of dwarfs. I got the Cookie Monster, the fucking Cookie Monster. I got Old Greg from uh, Mighty Boosh. I got um just a lot of shit. I got a lot of fucking people. You'd be surprised. I've like Omega Hulk Hogan, which is this Area 51 test uh, version of uh, Hulk Hogan, but he's uh, he's he's a clone of Hulk Hogan, but he's basically just a Hulk Hogan as the Incredible Hulk. And I have a Macho Man is an angel. Just, you know, he's just regular Macho Man, but he's an angel, I guess. Um, and I just, I, I got a lot of, let's see. No Chris Benoit. No Chris Benoit. Don't worry. You know, he's still stuck in hell, I guess. But I got Dracula. I got Satan. I got, um,. I got different realms. I got. I just got some people that I just felt like making weird fucking people. There are some people that are just completely from my imagination. That are not inspired by jack shit other than the crazy shit that goes on in my brain sometimes. Um, so check out the save. You know, you really don't need to look at research to understand it. I mean, a lot of it's self-explanatory in their little bios who the fuck they are. I mean, you see Dragon King and Dragon Queen. Well, what the fuck do you think, you know? Um... And the Atlantis people, and, uh, and I got different realms, and I'm, you know, different promotions. Um, uh, what was it? Oh, did I say I got the Dig Dug guy? I do got the Dig Dug guy. I made him. I made a very good one to him, actually. Um, I got rock people. I have a Matlock golem. I'm not shitting you, and it's a very good one, actually. It looks very much the part. Um, I got a Kenta Kobashi Steambot. 
and a Magma Misawa. No Tawe though, or Kawada. Sorry, I draw a line somewhere. I got a Liquid Metal Terminator 2, John Cena, because why not? Uh, oh, I got Probot and Drillbot. And I got Worm People, which turned out better than they had any right to. Um, Colt Cabana's in there. He's just Colt Cabana. He's just taking indie dates anywhere, you know. <laughs> Uh, Toxic Avenger, uh, a lot of trauma guys like uh, Dewey from uh, Nukem High after his face melted off. Um, I'm just, I'm babbling. I got just weird, weird people. I got, uh, I think I made, I made a very excellent thing from the Fantastic Four. Check him out. Very well done. Um, I'm trying to think if there's, I got Jack Burton and his friend uh, Wan Chi from Big Trouble Little China. I, no low pan. Low pan's on, impossible to make properly. Um, John Wayne, fucking Hercule Poirot, um, Chuck Norris, uh, Stelio Contos, if you're in, for those American Dad fans. Just the new one that took my fancy. And again, if you're a mystery science theater guy, you'll be very happy. Oh, I made a Cotton Hill from King of the Hill. And it is fucking excellent. I know you're not supposed to say that about your own edits, but it's fucking insane. Check that one out at least. <laughs> And with that, uh, I'll shut up. I'm well over. I'm about 27 minutes in. <laughs> Take it easy.